a drink. <laughs> Here we go again. Tell me the ritual words, or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. That's where I sleep anyway. Hey, ugly. Arr. I've seen a lot of pirates missing a lot of body parts, but you're the first one I've seen with a peg brain. That really hurt my feelings. The mass! Good riddance, Freakwood. <laughs> I'll be back for you, Chieftain Beluga. We'll need to get the mast repaired again before we can catch up to McGillicutty's ship. I know. I'll use the map. Let's get out of here, Mc... Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir. Looks like your friends have driven back the blockade. It should be safe now. Again. So I see. I need my mask repaired. Again. Again? Wow. Yeah, well, I'm trying to rescue your leader and take down. Oh, how heroic. I'll get right on it. That was fast. Our leader's life is at stake. Now get out there and do your thing. I don't suppose you have any sturdier masks lying around, do you? Sorry, Sunshine. I just got the trees on the beach. Where else could I get free trees that make a good mask? I think I'm good. See ya. Don't be a stranger. to Brillig Island. Aye, aye, sir. You! You! Shouldn't you guys be being tortured by McGillicuddy by now? When McGillicuddy finds out you slipped past us to get through the blockade, he'll have our heads on a pike! I figure as long as we are dead anyway, we might as well dig up the golden artifact and run. Of course, now we can't find the blasted thing. I know we left it on this island. It has to be here somewhere. Was it six paces or far? Go away, hook boy. Oh, come on. I thought we were friends. Especially after all the help I gave you guys earlier. So, can't find the treasure, huh? I know it's here. It's just, well, we reburied it so many times, I can't remember where we put it. Sounds like someone should have been a little more decisive. Maybe I can help. I think I see a bit of the chest poking out by the tree. What do you think I am, some kind of backhoe? Do you know how hard it is to get through rubber tree roots? That makes it the ideal place to bury a treasure. If you were a smart pirate, that's exactly where you would have buried it. I... you... Uh... Gah! There ain't nothing here! Try the tree again? Nah, those roots are too thick. There ain't no treasure chest down there. I'll leave you guys to it. Arr. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? Long walk along the beach? Fine. Just stay where I can see you, and don't even think of digging out here. That treasure is ours. <coughs> ours. Of course. I'd never stand in the way of a pirate and his treasure. I can't just dig... Tim Boyne? Hey, 
What'd you do that for? You're messing up our hole. Sorry. Hmm. I always wanted to be a lumberjack. Welcome back. Thank you, Mr. Wet. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. trees on Spoon Isle. Can anyone just take one? Technically, sure, but they're pretty heavy. I'd suggest leaving it to the experts. I think I'm good. Don't be a... I think I should look around for more stuff to plunder. Arr! Set sail, Mr. Winslow. Straight on to... Yes. Shove up, Scruffy. Scruffy? You know how long it took me to grow this beard this way? Tell me the ritual words, or you'll be sleeping with the... No, Captain. Why do you keep bothering me? You're so ugly, your father wished you were the son of the milkman. Oh, so that's how you want to play, eh? <laughs> you know, sir, I don't mind handling the bill for replacing the mast over and over again. I really don't. But I feel it would be more productive if we could stop the mast from breaking in the first place. Just my two pieces of eight, sir. Yes, thank you, Winslow. Duly noted. I'll get the map. Let's get out of here. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Again. So I see. What can I get you? I'm gonna need another mast replacement, and I'm pretty sure I found a suitable tree on a small island just north of the Rock of Gelato. Yeah? I'll go check it out. Hey, you were right. Never used a rubber tree for a mast before, but it worked just fine. Your ship is ready and better than ever. I think I'm good. See ya. Don't be a Set sail, Mr. Winslow. Let's get McGillicuddy. Aye, aye, sir. I think I should... You best mind your own business if you know what's good for you. Do I look like a guy who knows what's good for me? Tell me the ritual words, or you'll be sleep... Hey, McGillicuddy. Free words. Hey, is that your face or... Oh. Oh, I see. It is your face. <laughs> Awkward. Arr! You be wearing on me nerves, Sweetwood. Don't you ever get tired of losing? Oh, I don't intend on losing this time, kelp sucker. Give me your best shot. No! My 
my shit! Damn you, Freakwood! Uh, it's me, Garbor Streetwood. Why did I shut up? Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> That'll teach you to mess with Guybrush. Oh no, the Merleader! Nicely done, Guybrush. Once underwater, I was easily able to escape. The Vecalians are in your debt. Now let's go home. Good show, sir. I knew you'd make a good captain from the moment I saw your beard. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Now, back to the Jerkbait Islands before Elaine's pox gets any worse. <clears throat> the map, sir. Uh, what? I like it when you point on the map. Oh, very well, Mr. Winslow. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow! Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Skybrush Threepwood, on behalf of the Mer people of the Jerkbait Islands, I wish to extend our deepest thanks and gratification. Please approach. Uh, how about a reward instead? Guybrush! Indeed. I return to you in its former glorious state, your prized pyrite parrot of Petaluma. Uh, it's me, Guybrush Freepwood. Mighty pirate. pirate, I know. Thanks. If there is anything else we can offer you, please feel free to ask. Your thanks is enough. <laughs> and, and your gold! Give us all your gold! <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, something got stuck in my throat. <laughs> Actually, there is something. Actually, there is one thing. I sort of caused this pox, and I need a Sponja Grande to fix that. Especially now. What do you mean by that, you worthless piece of <laughs> oh, oh, Excuse me. I have the artifacts. Will you perform the ceremonial ritual to summon the legendary sea creatures to take me there? You, Guybrush, are the holder of the summoning items. You must be the one to use them. Come, give me the artifact. I will teach you the ritual words. Take this and throw it with all your might into the ocean. Then speak these words. Oh, great legendary creatures of the sea! Come on, come on, boys. Get the ball. You want the ball? Ha, ha, ha. You want the ball? Come get it. Really? Those are the ceremonial ritual words? So it has been written. When you are ready, they will lead your ship to where you need to be. Again, thank you, Guybrush Threepwood. And good luck in your journey. Well, that's that. Uh, come on, Elaine. Let's get that sponge and go home. Wait. I just need to check up on the chuck and those monkeys. You go ahead and summon the creatures. I'll meet you at your ship in just a moment. <sighs> I'm starting to think LeChuck was less of a nuisance when he was an evil zombie demon. Nothing. Here, boys, come and get it. Oh, shoot. Whoa. Creepy. Captain Threepwood. Ah. I see the ocean beasties have been summoned. Are we ready to go then? Maybe. Just a few more minutes, Mr. Winslow. I'm still waiting for Elaine and stupid LeChuck to get here. Something about monkeys or pants, I don't know. Guybrush? Elaine, there you are. Come on, let's go. 
LeChuck, been great seeing you again. Hope the human thing works out for you. I gotta wait to go home and snuggle with you. Later. Guybrush, I'm not coming with you. What? It's these monkeys. Well, I'm going to need help getting these poor little guys back to their homes. You go and get us Bonnie Grande. You don't need me for that. Besides, I really think I should keep an eye on LeChuck. Trust me, sweetie. Okay. Don't worry, boy. I'll take good care of her while you're gone. Elaine, I'll be back for you in the blink of a squid's eye. Be careful, dear, and don't put your lips on anything. Mr. Winslow, follow those sea creatures. Um, uh, the map. Again with the map? I like the map. Forget about the map. Just go. I thought we agreed. You're making us look bad. Just go. All right, all right, I'm going. To Esponja Grande. We almost there, Mr. Winslow? I'm not sure, Captain Fleetwood. I'm just following the beasties. I have no idea where they're going. And to be honest, I'm not sure they do either. We'll be fine, Mr. Winslow. Just stay on course. Ah, this is the sweet pirate life. Out in the deep blue with your best ship and crew searching for the world's rarest treasures, which just happens to be a giant voodoo-sucking sea sponge in this case. It makes you wonder why anyone would consider any other life. Am I right, Mr. Winslow? Mr. Winslow? You again? Miss me? Not really. Turns out the Marquis isn't satisfied with just your hand. He wants the complete package. So I'm taking over this ship and taking you back to Flotsam Island. Try anything funny, and the short one gets it. Why don't you give this up? Join me instead. We can sail together, see the world, just you and me. Looting and pillaging in every harbor. It could be just like you always dreamed. As wonderful as that sounds, Guybrush, I do have a job to do. Besides, you're already married to Elaine. Ugh. Yeah, but she never lets me do any looting or pillaging either. Go ahead, run him through. I don't think you have the guts. Why must you tempt her, sir? Don't worry, she won't do it. She's only got orders to bring me in. Killing you wouldn't bring her any profit. He's right, I'm afraid. It's part of the Pirate Hunter's Code. Don't kill anyone you aren't getting paid to. So, I'll just kill you, Guybrush. And you think the Marquis will pay you for bringing in my lifeless corpse? Believe me, this dead body is totally worthless. Uh, Captain, uh, something's happening to the sea creatures. You don't have the skills or the wit to defeat Guybrush Threepwood. I don't need wit to carve a bloody hole in your chest. See, that wasn't witty at all. I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, sister. Wait, believe what? What? Oh, no, 